also the four mask questions that are important from your examination point of view. So let us discuss one by one, okay? So we know that in social science, we have 39 chapters, isn't it? So 39 chapters, so history, we are having 10 chapters, then political science, five chapters, then sociology, four chapters, then geography, 12, then economics, four chapters, and business study, four chapters. So when we come to objective type, so remembering we have 13 marks and understanding we having for 40 marks and application questions for 22 marks and skill for 5 marks. So total it is 80 marks. Okay. Then when we come to questions type, type of questions. Okay. So when we come to type of questions, so already you people have written two to three exams, isn't it? Okay. So MCQ questions we're having eight. Okay. Then very short answer, eight questions. Then short answer, eight question. Then long answer, that is three marks questions, we're having nine. So total 27 marks. Then long answer, that is for four marks, we are having four questions. That is for 16 marks and one map question. So one marks is for drawing a map and four marks for is placing the map. Okay, marking for the map. So total 80 marks, okay. So let us discuss, so how these questions will come. So I told, so MCQ, we're having eight. So in this, so from history, we are having two. Okay, so from history, we are having two MCQ questions and from political science, it is one. Then sociology also, it is two. Then geography, one. Then economics, one question. Then business studies, one question. So eight MCQ questions are there. So two from history, one from political science, two from sociology, one from geography, and one from economics, and one from business studies, okay? Then we are having very short answer. Very short answer also, eight questions, okay? So very short answer, eight questions are there. So you have to write only one word or a one sentence, okay? That's also from history part, two questions and political science, one question, then sociology, one question, then geography, two question, economics, one, then business studies, one. So total eight questions are from very short answer. History two, political science one, sociology one, geography two, economics one and business studies, one question. Then we are having short answer. Short answer is also eight question. So it is for two marks. So two marks means you have to write three to four sentences. Okay. So here also from history part, they are asking two questions. Okay. So history, two questions. Then political science, one question. Then sociology, one question. Then geography, two question, then economics, one question, then business studies, one question. So total eight questions. And remember in short answer, that is three to four sentences, you will be having internal choice questions. Okay. So internal choice is from sociology and political science. Okay. So here I'm marking So internal choice is from political science and sociology. So two internal choice questions are there. Then long answer. So long answer. So total nine questions are there. So nine questions, long answers, three marks questions. So in this from history, it is three. Okay. Then political science, one question. Then sociology, one question. 
then geography two question economics one question then business studies one question so here also nine questions you have to answer but four internal choice questions are there okay so in three months question also so i'll be having internal choice so internal choice yav yav drinda bartide andre so it is from history so from history you'll be having internal choice and from geography you'll be having internal choice and economics will be having internal choice and business studies will be having internal choice and long answer one that is four marks so four marks questions will be having four so this four marks questions again it is from history two question political science one question and geography one question so here also for four marks questions you will be having one internal choice question so that is from history part so from history part you will be having one internal choice question okay so then after that so 2 plus 1 plus 1 total four questions okay so if we go on so if we see so total for history it is 25 marks okay so for political science it is 11 marks then for sociology it is 8 marks then for geography it is 25 marks then economics it is 7 marks and business studies it is also for 7 marks okay so in geography so map questions is always from geography only okay so one mark is for drawing a map and four marks is for marking the places okay so and remember students always use pencil for drawing a map and don't use pen okay so now i want to discuss about the four marks questions okay so four marks questions so yav yav chapters in the barutte anta so four marks questions so four marks questions so especially the as from history so history seventh lesson Eighth lesson and tenth lesson. So seven, eight, and ten lessons. Okay, tenth lesson. That is the freedom movement, the Gandhian era, and the political dimensions of the twentieth century. Okay, so uh, this tenth lesson may be asked for internal choice question. Okay, and from political science, it is from. Fifth lesson, that is the UN war lesson, United Nation Organization lesson is there, no? So from that lesson, four marks question is asked. Then from geography, it is from seventh lesson. Okay, seventh lesson. So we know that this year we don't have any blueprint. Okay, last year also we didn't had any blueprint. So uh, if we divide our question paper into two parts, one that is uh, MCQ. the very short answer and short answer total the 8 8 8 plus 16 32 marks so we can't uh, expect whatever the questions it will come but the 3 marks 4 marks and math questions we can expect okay so say the uh, history only 7th 8th and 10th lesson you are getting for 4 marks then political science that is 5th lesson and geography 7th lesson but in history they may ask 6th lesson for also 4 marks the first war of indian independence is there no so that lesson is asked for 4 marks okay like the explain the political and administrative causes for 1857 revolt or they may ask explain the economic causes for 1857 revolt or one question is there what to explain the causes for the failure of 1857 revolt so because in that lesson we can get more than 
points okay so which are all the concepts in the lessons the concepts which are having more than 8 to 10 points are maybe asked for four marks question so like that in history apart from this okay so e lesson anna bitti in yav lesson in the four marks kel bodu andre one do that is the first war of indian independence causes idella causes may be clubbed okay eradu no seesi kel bodu or um uh, third lesson okay so third lesson only four marks ge kelo chances ide then the social religious reform movements can be asked for four marks question okay so if we come to political science fifth lesson so uno lesson ige bandaga so uno lesson only the objectives of uno the organs of uno so our structure and functions of general assembly atara okay then geography seventh lesson okay so now i wanted to discuss about the important four mark questions about this uh, seventh eighth and tenth lesson okay so especially tenth lesson it is for choice question okay so in three lessons only if you prepare for two lessons definitely you will get four marks okay so four four eight marks you will get then political science for uno lesson if we if you there are all the questions you you may easily get four marks and geography seventh lesson no adu jothege geography part in the yav lesson in the you are getting four marks and right it is from soils of india okay so soils of india only they may ask the causes and effects of soil erosion okay so causes and effects of soil erosion and also the forest resources forest resources only so conservation of forest only you can get 7 to 8 points so uh, 7 to 8 points sigodrinda so ee lesson i mean geography part nalli fourth fifth and seventh lesson in the so seven mark four marks ge kelo antaha chances ide okay and ninth lesson transport and communication lesson is there no from that lesson also you may get for four marks okay so first let us discuss about the four marks questions that comes in the history part okay so that is from the history seventh lesson so freedom movement lesson is there no so that freedom movement lesson so only you have to read four questions okay so in that lesson so new four questions ige prepare aadre so easily you can get four marks so yavdu ee seventh lesson in the four questions andre especially the role of moderates the role of moderates then role of extremists or the radicals so in our textbook it has given radicals okay radicals then revolutionaries and role of bal gangadhar tilak so while first question explain the role of bal ganga sir explain the role of moderates in the freedom struggle or the question may be asked give the meaning of moderates or mention some of the moderate leaders or explain the demands or the application level question may be asked like this like the period of moderates is referred to as the age of liberal nationalism justifies so for this you have to write the answer so how you should write the answer means first you have to write the meaning of moderates okay so how they divide the marks means for four marks question first you have to write the meaning of moderates so if you write the meaning of moderates you will give one mark okay then the moderates some of the moderates persons name you have to write and then you have to write the demands of the moderates okay so who were called moderates so the age of moderates is between 1885 to 1905 is called the congress men are called as moderates okay so who were the important moderates wc banerji sn banerji gopal gopal krishna gokhale and mg ranade dada bhai nauroji were the major moderate leaders then you have to write the demands okay so demands what are the demands the believed in prayers and request to the please british okay then they organized public meetings and they submitted memorandums to the government and they explained about the drain theory 
and demanded to reduce the military expenditure and demanded to protect the Indian industries and demanded the good education and demanded for poverty elevation. So demands, if you write any four points, you will get two marks. So two marks for this and one mark for uh, meaning of the moderates and one mark for the moderates person name. And the next question is the explain the role of radicals in the freedom struggle or they may be asked like who were the radicals and mention some of the leaders of the radicals or explain their demand. So for this you have to write first the meaning of the radicals. So the radicals were the members of the Congress who opposed the soft stance of the moderate towards the British. And Arvind Ghosh, Bipin Chandrapal, Lala Lajpat Rai and Bal Gangadhar Tilak were the leaders of the radicals. Okay. And what are all the demands of the radicals? So they opposed the partition of Bengal and this Swadeshi movement was started by them and they called for the boycotting of foreign goods and they encouraged the people to use the Indian goods and they aimed at an independent India. So these are all the demands of the moderates. So sometimes they may ask uh, application level question like how did the moderates differ from the radicals and the moderates or radicals in the henge change it on the so adik nivain man beko so you have to write both the demands okay moderates demands to very beko extremist demands to bandaga that will be the answer for how did moderates differ from the radicals okay and the next the third question is explain the role of Bal Gangadhar Tila in the freedom movement. So already we have uh, known the answer for this radicals. Okay. So our radicals demands a nidyo. So our demands in a bardu. So other jotege. So Bal Gangadhar Tila, if they ask for role of Bal Gangadhar Tila, you have to mention the papers published by Bal Gangadhar Tila. Okay. So Tila was a radical leader and he opposed the British policies and he also opposed the partition of Bengal and Tilak called for boycotting of the foreign goods and he organized the common people through Ganesha, Shivaji and Durga celebrations and uh, the famous declaration so Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it and he published the Kesari in Marathi and Maratha in English newspapers and he triggered the national movement through Gita Rahasya book. So this is the answer for the role of Bal Gangadhar Tilak. And the next one is the explain the role of revolutionaries in the freedom struggle. So for this also I have to write the meaning of the revolutionaries. So the revolutionaries were the small groups which operate secretly to throw the British out of the country. And who were the revolutionary leaders? B.D. Savarkar, Raj Guru, Raj Bihari Bose, then Bhagat Singh, Chandrasekhar Azad, Adam Kam, Kame, etc. And what are the demands of this revol revolutionaries? So they dreamed out of attaining the complete freedom and employed violent methods to drive away the British and established the secret organization in India and in abroad. So they founded the Anubhava Bharata and the Anushilana Samiti and Lotus and Dagger in England and also Gadar Party in the USA. And they started collecting weapons and money for the armed struggle. And they provided training to youths and they used bombs and guns and many of them were hanged by the British. So these four questions which comes from this lesson okay so the freedom movement lesson so only four questions that may be asked for four marks question so in all the question again you taro adre easily you can get four marks and the next lesson is for four marks is history eight lesson the era of gandhi and the national movement okay so in that the main question is the first and foremost is the programs in the major developments of non-cooperation movement okay so non-cooperation movement programs then developments so for this the answer is so the non-cooperation movement was started by gandhiji in the year 1920 okay so boycotting schools colleges and courts and boycotting elections to regional legislative bodies and returning all the honors and 
medals okay and resignation of all members nominated to the local bodies and boycotting all government functions and boycotting of the foreign goods and encouraging the handloom and khadi products in your textbook they have given only six points but after that uh, six points we'll be having the two to three lines paragraph okay so in the so encouraging the handloom and khadi products and opening the national schools and achieving the hindu muslim unity and the eradication of untouchability okay so if you add those points it will become eight points okay so for uh, four marks questions you have to write minimum eight points okay and the next one is the explain the major developments that took place during the non cooperation movement okay so our, the question may be asked like describe non cooperation movement so many senior lawyers left their practice and students boycotted the schools and colleges and the congress boycotted the election for the regional bodies and many national institutions were established and rabindranath tagore returned his knighthood title and the common people and the women donated liberally to the congress and the shops selling the foreign goods were boycotted okay and the foreign clothes were burned and the visit of prince of wales in 1921 was opposed so this was the main development so development and after non cooperation movement en aitu anta barbeku so programs anta keldaga enen aagi enen maadbeku anta ankondidrala adanna barbeku don't confuse with the programs and development okay and next question is about the salt satyagraha or it may be called as the dandi march or it may be as for civil disobedience movement so ಸಾಲ್ ಸತ್ಯಾಗ್ರಹ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರು ಇದೇ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬರಬೇಕು ದಂಡಿ ಸತ್ಯಾಗ್ರಹ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರು ಇದೇ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬರಬೇಕು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸೊಬಿಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಮೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸೊಬಿಡಿಯಂಟ್ ಮೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಗಾಂಧೀಜಿ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಾಂಧೀಜಿ ಬಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಬಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸಾಬರ್ಮತಿ ಆಶ್ರಮ್ ಟು ದಂಡಿ ಸೊ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ದ this uh, dandi march started from sabarmati ashram uh, to dandi and uh, gandhi ji wrote a letter to viceroy demanding the 11 points and he demanded to remove the tax on salt okay and irwin refused the demand and gandhi ji covered 375 kilometers on foot and reached dandi okay and broke the law by holding a fist full salt without paying the tax and gandhi ji popularized the charaka okay and thousands of people participated in the salt satyagraha and many leaders were arrested so this is the answer for civil disobedience movement okay and the next one is the farmers and workers revolt in the history of indian freedom struggle or explain the farmers and workers protest in the indian freedom struggle so farmers revolt began at champaranya kheda tegbar malabar etc and the british planters forced the farmers to grow indigo okay and they were oppressed and they rose in revolt refusing to even the land tax also and farmers revolted against the british and zamindars and farmers protested against the zamindars and the nizams or razakars and farmers protested against the low wages and the workers movement started in calcutta and protests were organized under the banner of kisan sabha and the workers of jute and cotton mills started organizing themselves and a labor union was founded in madras okay then printer union the cotton mill workers and the uh, created the national awareness so farmers and workers revolt and the next one is the explain the various tribal movements or the tribal revolts in the history of independence struggle or the question may be asked like this describe the role of tribal revolts in the freedom struggle so the santalas the answer is the santalas kola munda halagali bedas revolted against the british 
and the tax in the forest policies of the British were the reasons for the tribal revolts. And due to permanent zamindari system, the tribal people became landless. Okay, and the zamindars, money lenders, became the exploiters of the Santala tribe. Then tribals were forced to pay the tax, and the Santalas were upset by the tax policies, and they decided to loot the zamindars and money lenders. And centers for revolt were the Bhagatpur, the Baharat, and the Rajmahal, and they killed their enemies and Kola and Munda revolts against the Zamindas. Okay. And the next question is so the achievements of the Subhash Chandra Bose in the freedom struggle. Okay. So or uh, explain the role of Subhash Chandra Bose in the freedom struggle. So role and the Kedudru either answer Buribiku achievements and the Kedudru either answer Buribiku. So Subhash Chandra Bose was a revolutionary patriot and he founded the Congress Socialist Party and he became the president of Haripura Convention and he founded the Forward Bloc and he also founded the INA in Tokyo and he called for Delhi Chalo and he said, give me a black, I will give you an Indian independence and he annexed India from the Burma border and a fierce battle took place between INA and the British and later he died in the plane crash and people call him popularly as Netaji. Okay, so this is about the role or the achievements of Subhash Chandra Bose. And the next one is the give an account of the contributions of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar or the question may be asked like this, explain the role of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar in Indian freedom struggle or Dr. B. R. Ambedkar believed that political freedom without social freedom is meaningless, explain, okay? So Dr. B. R. Ambedkar strongly believed that political independence was meaningless without social independence and he fought for the rights of the untouchables and he started the Maha Tank movement and he also started the Kalaram Temple movement and demand for the separate electorate constituents for the untouchables okay and he founded the Bahishkrita Hitakarani Sabha and he founded the Swatantra Karmika party and published the periodicals like the Janata Mukanaika etc and he served as the chairman of the drafting committee and he advocated the equality for untouchables and became the first law minister of the independent India. And he was awarded Bharti Ratna post -amiously. Okay. And the next one is the explain the major achievements of Nehru as the first prime minister of India. So, Modula Pradhana Mantriyagi, Nehru Aura achievements Enu Antuna Kerbodu, or Nehru was the pioneer of the developmental programs in independent India, explain Antuna Kerbodu, or explain the contribution of Jawahala Nehru as the Prime Minister of India. So, Yene Tara Nehru Vage question Kerbodu, you have to write this answer only. So, first show, architect and a one word Nakka it comedy. So, the Jotege, when the eight words Nakka it country, easily you can score four marks. Okay. So, Yadu, architect of industrialization. Okay. And architect of modern India. Then, architect of fire plants. Then, architect of the Panchashila principles. Then, the architect of the atomic energy. Then, the architect of the non aligned movement. Then, the architect of the India's foreign policy. Then, architect of the integration of the princely states and implemented the formula of peace and harmony. So, industrialization, modern India, fire plants, Panchashila principles, atomic energy, non aligned movement, and India's foreign policy. Okay. So, these are all the questions which may be asked for four marks in your four marks part. Okay. So, here I will be writing the questions from eighth lesson. Which are the questions I am going to ask. Okay, so the first one is, so from 8th question, it is, Programs of
non cooperation movement okay so next one is the development of so next question development of non cooperation movement okay and the next question is about salt satyagraha so it may be as like dandi march dandi march antano keltare then civil disobedience movement civil disobedience movement so explain sar satyagraha or explain dhandi march or explain civil disobedience movement then farmers and workers revolt in the indian freedom struggle then tribal revolts in the indian freedom struggle okay and the next one is role of subhash chandra bose then role of dr b r ambedkar so hope you have uh, writing all these questions i think so so then role of jawaharlal nehru so last question may be asked we are exam that is role of mahatma gandhi ji so if they as role of mahatma gandhi ji we have to start from non cooperation movement that he started non cooperation movement he started civil disobedience movement so then he start he supported for the farmers and the labor movements okay so i have to write the answer for this role of mahatma gandhi ji he started the quit india movement okay so like this you have to whatever the movement started by gandhi ji we have to write for this question okay so role of Ma Mahatma Gandhi ji. Okay, so total about eight to nine questions from this lesson. Okay, so I told from history it is seventh, eighth, and tenth lesson. So the two lessons again you will prepare are there. So you have the internal choice. Internal choice is from the tenth lesson. Okay. so if they ask main question from 10th lesson or choice question from 8th lesson you can answer 8th lesson okay and if they ask seventh question and the internal choice 10th question you can answer seventh lesson question okay so they may ask seven or 10 or 8 or 10 so two lessons you can prepare adre so easily you can get eight marks okay so next is from political science okay so political science only so yav lesson in the nimige four marks again right it is from international institutions so political science in 
international institutions so from this lesson so maybe you are getting um five to six questions okay so if you taro with the five to six questions so easily you can score four marks so which are those questions means first one is UNO meaning and so UNO meaning and aims of UNO okay so UNO meaning and aims of UNO then organs of UNO so they may ask like a uh, uh, list the organs of UNO and explain any one like that okay so six organs na bardu one then explain madadre you will be getting four marks okay then structure and function of structure and function of general assembly structure you know that how it has form and function then like the structure and function of security council okay and also the structure and function of the economic and social council okay then achievements of uno so achievements of uno i have to club both the uh, uh, economic achievements then peacekeeping operations and social achievements so in muru points in a club body you have to write eight points okay then the special organizations of uno special organizations of un okay so then sarc may be the uh, as or uh, then the aims and functions of imf okay so aims and functions of imf then functions of ibrd they may ask for four mark questions but these are all the important questions that are asked for four marks from political science part okay so the first one is the UNO formation and aims okay so UNO henge form aitu anta then uh, other the objectives yeno anta aims or the objectives okay so the term united nation was coined by the franklin d roosevelt the president of usa so what are all the aims of this UNO safeguarding the international peace and security okay then fostering the cooperation among nation then the improving the faith in human rights okay then providing recognition to international agreements and conditions and uh, exploring the solutions to various problems and striving to build the mutual trust and cooperation among the countries okay and the next one is the explain the structure and function of general assembly okay so the general assembly is the general body consisting of all the member nations of the uno and the every country sends five representatives to this body and but but every country has only one vote okay and the general assembly elects one of its members as the president for a year and it also elects the 17 vice presidents and seven chairpersons for the seven permanent committee then the general assembly meetings begin around the september and continue till mid december every year 
and approval of the general budget and summoning the special sessions to discuss the urgent issues okay and the next question is they explain the structure and functions of the security council so the security council consists of the 15 members of whom the five are the permanent members okay so the remaining 10 members are elected by the general assembly for a period of 2 years so we know that in uh, security council we have 15 members so actually five members are permanent so in security council only five members remember this word phrase okay so france russia america china and england are the five permanent members of the security council okay so the every member has one vote but the approval of all the permanent members is a must for any decision to be become operational and the next one is the functions of the security council so solving international disputes through the peaceful means and deploying the un peace keeping force and electing the judges of the international court of justice and recommending the name for the post of the secretary general okay and the next one is the explain the structure and functions of the economic and the social council so the economic and the social council consists of the 54 member nations and are elected by the general assembly and the 18 members of the councils are elected each year for a period of 3 years and the council elects a chairperson for one year okay and the functions of this economic and social council so conducting studies on economic social cultural educational health and other international issues and issues like the refugee problems the status of women housing etc come under its purview and to make recommendations on issues of the human rights and the basic freedom and organizing the conferences on the human resources culture education and other issues and coordinating the functions of the special bodies like the ILO the FAO and WHO and the other institutions and the next one is the explain the achievements of UNMO so i already told that if they ask the achievements of uno means you have to write the three that is the peace keeping the economic and the financial achievements and the social achievements so uno has solved many conflicts and uno solved the suez canal crisis the iran the indonesia kashmir palestine the korea hungary congo israel and namibia etc and uno has continued to work as disarmament and uno has encouraged the international economic and the financial cooperation and various schemes of financial assistance have been launched and a number of educational health women and the child welfare <laughs> schemes have been implemented and adopted the universal declaration of the human rights in the year 1948 and the cold war has ended and the uno has played a decisive role in the removal of the apartheid the colonialism and the imperialism okay and the next one is list of various specialized organizations of uno okay so in the you have to write the food and agricultural organization fao then world health organization who then united Na unesco then unicef the international monetary fund imf and international bank for reconstruction and development ibrd and international labor organization ilo and the world trade organization wto okay and if they ask about imf also so the functions of imf we have to note down okay so the imf was established in the year 1945 and became operational in the year 1947 and the its headquarters is located at washington dc okay and imf tried to resolve the international economic 
crisis okay then it helps the development of global commerce and it helps the development of the economic stability and it settles the balance of payments and it acts as facilitator between the developed and the non developed countries and it provides monetary assistance so this is all the functions of imf okay international monetary fund and the next one is the explain the functions of ibrd bandan sala kelbitre anta ashte okay so the ibrd came into existence in the year 1947 and it is also known as the world bank so ibrd is known as world bank and it has headquarters is in washington dc and to ensure the economic progress after the second world war this ibrd was established and it provides funds to member countries for the development of agriculture infrastructure transport and communication okay and it helps to balance the world trade and it helps in the balance payment process and it provides funds to developing countries okay and commonwealth of nations so when the either points are there so akasmat yenara commonwealth of nations adanna yavaga establish maadi a points baradre four marks ik kelidru kelbodu okay so adu bitre so ee lesson inda ondu five to six questions you prepare adre four marks barutte okay and uh, e political science alli e lesson bitre so already i said that this year they are following the theme wise okay theme wise andre namma yav yav lesson alli yav concept alli so eight points kinta jaasti sigutto so that question is as for three marks or four marks so more marks igadru kelbodu athwa nalak marks igadru kelbodu so hange political science alli yav lesson inda aa tara three marks ige four marks ige kelbodu andre so just i am mean, concentrating on four marks so four marks kelo lesson yavdu andre maybe first lesson inda kelbodu okay political science first lesson problems of india and their solutions aa lesson inda kelbodu okay causes and effects of unemployment oh, causes and effects of terrorism oh. so causes four oh, effects of four baradre so nimige four marks barutte okay so aa tara aa lesson inda one two three questions kelo chances idave okay so ad bitre ee lesson inda you will be uh, having four marks questions okay and the next is from geography part so from geography it is from land resources okay so geography 7th lesson land resources okay so which are all the questions that can ask from this lessons are the first one is the land use meaning so land use meaning kelthare then factors affecting land use so eight words nakka ittkondre easily you can score four marks okay so meaning then factors okay then classification of land use classification of land use okay so the meaning classification of land use and the meaning okay then importance of agriculture importance of agriculture okay then types of agriculture and their meaning 
types of agriculture and their meaning okay and geographical conditions required required for the cultivation of for the cultivation of various crops okay so one table is anivatra table maadkondu so ikade crop rainfall soil so elli belittare anadun one table chart maadkondre it will be easy for you to learn okay then role of horticulture role of horticulture so the first question is give the meaning of the land use and list the factors on which the land use depends okay so we have to write the meaning of land use okay so the distribution of land for different users or the purposes such as the forestry the cultivation the pastures etc is called as the land use or the land utilization okay so which are all the factors that depends okay so yav yav amshagala mele ee land use depend agide andre so you have to remember only eight words okay so that is the relief features the climate the soil the population density then the social factors the economic factors and the technical factors so ishtu ee yol points barudre so meaning barudre you will be getting four marks okay so again i am repeating the factors the relief features the climate the soil the population density the economic factors the social factors and the technical factors okay and the next question is the explain the importance of the agriculture in india so classification of land use we know that we have a purpose ige land anna use maartare anta so other the just to mention okay so mention madidre you will be getting four marks then the explain the importance of agriculture so agriculture importance enu anta barebeku so the agriculture importance na in yav tara question kelbodu andre how has agriculture helped in the development of the secondary and the tertiary sector anta keldaga so adralli nevu en madbeko industries jothe serisi bardaga so adu importance of the secondary and the tertiary sector agutte okay so i'll tell what all the answer so explain the importance of agriculture in india so tilling of the soil for raising food crops and the raw materials needed by the human beings is called agriculture okay so what are all the importance so it is the main occupation of the people okay and it is the main source of food for the people so occupation then food for the people then may it provides fodder for animals okay and it promotes the tertiary sector and provides raw materials to the industry okay then helps in earning the foreign exchange and provides employment and promotes the savings of the people and provides market for the industrial goods okay so these are all the points which can be written for the importance of agriculture in india so if there as agriculture helped in the development of the secondary and tertiary sector anta keldaga so it promotes transport so transport comes in the service sector okay so i have to add that point okay then development of trade okay so trade transport then helps in banking and the progress of the insurance and the supports the industries like the cotton jute sugar industries etc and provides market for both the sectors and it provides food grains to the workers of both the sector okay and the next one is 
the types of agriculture with their meaning okay so yav yav reeti vyavsaya martare matte adra meaning anna barive so subsistence farming then intensive farming commercial farming then plantation farming dry farming then humid farming then mixed farming then irrigation farming okay so the fa intensive farming andre yeno anta so farming in which the large amount of capital and labor are applied okay and commercial farming means the farming in which the crops are grown for the market okay then plantation farming means the cultivation of the single crop over a large area for the market and dry farming means the farming carried on in areas which receives scanty rainfall scanty means very less okay so commercial andre gotutane labakoskara anta then humid farming so cultivation of crops in areas which receives sufficient rainfall sufficient means more okay heavy rainfall then next one is the mixed farming that is the cultivation of crops and livestock rearing then irrigation farming that is farming under which the crops are grown with the help of irrigation okay so this is called irrigation farming so eight uh, types of uh, agriculture na mention maadi you have to write the meaning of the agriculture okay farming and the next one is the geographical conditions required for the cultivation of various crops okay so here you have to make one table for this okay so then it will be easy for you to learn okay so i think you have written this so so make a table like this chart okay then in this you have to write crop okay then temperature temperature then rainfall okay so after this you have to write the soil so for four marks questions then i may ask for um explain the geographical conditions required for the cultivation of paddy or wheat or wheat or sugar cane or cotton or tea or tobacco like this they ask the questions okay so crop temperature rainfall soil and the leading state okay so leading state leading state so the first one is paddy paddy patta kelidrala paddy okay so paddy so eshtu temperature irbeku paddy belibeku andre 18 to 25 degree celsius okay so 18 degree to 25 degree celsius okay then rainfall is 100 to 200 cm okay so 100 to 200 cm of rainfall it requires then soil is alluvial alluvial and clay soil and it needs standing water still harvesting okay so standing water
स्टैंडिंग वाटर एंड लीडिंग स्टेट या दो वेस्ट बेंगाल वेस्ट बेंगाल ओके सो पैडी टेम्परेचर रेनफॉल सॉइल लीडिंग स्टेट ओके सो फोर मार्क्स के एरू क्रॉप ना कड़ो चांस ओके सो पैडी सो नेक्स्ट वन इज वीट wheat okay so wheat it requires 10 to 15 degree celsius okay temperature 10 to 15 degree of celsius and 50 to 70 cm of rainfall okay so 15 50 to 70 cm of rainfall so loamy and black soil loamy and black soil okay so which is the leading state for this wheat growing so adana mention madbeku okay uttar pradesh okay so next one is sugar cane so sugar cane we need 21 to 26 degree celsius 21 to 26 degree celsius okay so rain for we need 100 to 150 100 to 150 cm of rainfall so then we require alluvial and loamy soil alluvial and loamy soil okay so sugarcane leading state yadu uttar pradesh okay so next we have cotton so cotton it requires 21 to 24 okay 21 to 24 50 to 100 cm of rainfall okay then we need black soil for growing cotton okay so which is the leading state gujarat so leading state is gujarat okay so next to t okay so t it requires 21 to 30 degree celsius 21 degree to 30 degree celsius okay so the rainfall is about 150 to 200 cm of rainfall okay 150 to 2 sorry it is 250 okay so 150 to 250 cm of rainfall and we require mountain soil so we require mountain soil especially rich in humus okay so rich in humus and uh, slopes okay so slopes then which is the leading state is assam okay
सो नेक्स्ट वन इज टोबैको ओके सो टोबैको सो टोबैको फॉर दिस वी नीड ट्वेंटी वन टू ट्वेंटी थ्री डिग्री सेल्सियस ट्वेंटी वन डिग्री टू ट्वेंटी थ्री डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके सो एंड रेनफॉल इज फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स ऑफ रेनफॉल एंड द सॉल इज Sandy loamy soil. Okay, so which is the leading state, Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh. So if you prepare a chart like this, it will be easy for you to learn geographical conditions. So you have to write the temperature, rainfall, soil, and the leading state. Okay. And the next question is. Explain the role of horticulture in India. So, Tota Garike, or the how horticulture is helps in the economic development of India. Explain and then get both. Understand? So, the intensive cultivation of the fruits, vegetables, flowers, medicinal, and the aromatic plants is called horticulture. So, first you have to write the meaning of horticulture. Okay? So, the intensive cultivation of fruits. Vegetables, flowers, medicinal, and the aromatic plants is known as horticulture. So it helps in the optimum utilization of natural resources and generating the skilled employment for the rural areas. And it enables the export and it helps the food security and it's useful to earn the foreign exchange. and optimum utilization of the agricultural land and it makes the agriculture more profitable okay so these are all the questions which comes from this land resources okay so maybe 3 to sorry 6 to 7 questions okay so sometimes they may ask the differences between the rabi crop and the kharif crop so rabi crop or kharif crop meaning barebeku then which are all the crops that are grown in the rabi season and the kharif season baradre so it will be get four marks okay uh, then iga geography nalli ee seventh lesson bitti so in yav lesson in the four marks ge kelo chances ide andre so theme wise anta hodaga so yav lesson in the four marks ge keltare andre it is from the soils of india so i'll write the questions here so what are all the questions that can be asked for four marks okay so four marks ge geography part in yavud inda kelthare andre soils of india inda matte forest okay so that lesson so causes and effects of causes and effects of soil erosion okay so causes and effects of soil erosion and the next one methods okay so methods adopted for methods adopted for soil conservation adopted for soil conservation athwa ee question anna heng kelbodu andre the ways in which the soil erosion can be prevented athwa ya explain the ways in which the soil erosion can be prevented anta then the next lesson yavudu kelodu forest lesson inda okay so the forest of india so the causes for the destruction of forest causes 
for the destruction of forest okay and athwa deforestation causes eno antana kelbodu so the causes for the deforestation antano kelbodu athwa why the forest the areas under the forests are declining anta kelidru ide varibeku causes e varibeku okay and the next one is the measures taken for the conservation of forest in india measures taken for the conservation of forest in india okay so this is all the two questions that can be asked for four marks from the geography part apart from the land resources okay and the next lesson may be as yavdu anta andre one advantages of transport advantages of transport okay so they may be as for 3 marks or 4 marks and the importance of communication okay importance of communication importance of communication okay and the next one is the major industrial regions okay so 3 to 4 marks i mean 3 or 4 marks okay major industrial regions okay so this lesson is for 3 marks okay but this industrial regions we have eight industrial regions so therefore it can be asked for four marks okay so these are all the questions which may be asked for four marks in the geography part okay so main or land resources so ad bitre yav lesson in the four marks ige kelo chances ide andre one soils of india forest of india these two questions these two questions and transport and communication lesson in the advantages of transport the importance of communication and also the major industrial regions okay so industries lesson in the kelo so ad bitto history part in the so 10th lesson that na now adana bitbitu iga average students below average students so a lesson bitbitu odidru no no so two lessons ige taro adre they can get eight marks anta so ad bitu bere ore ella lesson na now odtini above average students or ella odtini andaga so ee history last lesson in the four marks ige questions na keltare so yav yav questions four marks ge kelo antaddu andre so political dimensions of the 20th century nalli so the first question is causes and effects of the first world war okay so causes and effects of first world war okay so you have to write the causes and effects so causes and rebuttal karana causes are they may be as for reason okay causes and effects of first world war okay then uh, october and october and february revolution okay so lenin october and february revolution no? that is also asked for four marks then achievements of then achievements of lenin and stalin so lenin or the nala achievements for you go stalin or the nala achievements for you will be getting other two marks either two marks okay so four marks but okay then next question how did the first world war start okay how did the first 
Nazism, Hitler. Okay. So how did Nazism destroy Germany? Explain. Okay. So how did Nazism destroy Germany? Explain. So E question in a cable. Then features of fascism okay so fascism features so are the six points there so the jote ke fascism na yaro establish maadi do anta sesi barudra so four marks ke agutte okay so then causes and effects of second world war causes and effects of Second World War. Okay. So causes and effects of Second World War. Then Chinese Revolution effects. Okay. So Chinese Revolution do effects. Okay. Then Cold War meaning and effects. Okay, so these are all the questions that comes in the tenth lesson of history. Okay, so causes and effects of First World War, October and the February Revolution, then achievements of Lenin and Stalin, then how did Nazism destroy Germany? Explain. Then features of fascism, then causes and effects of Second World War, then Chinese Revolution effects, then Cold War meaning and effects. Okay, so a bit to you know history in the in our lesson in the four marks again. Right, it is from third lesson. Okay, so third lesson actually it is for three marks, but they may be asked for. Four marks also, okay. So then, social and religious movements lesson is there. So that lesson is also for as for four marks, three or four marks. Then the first war of Indian independence. So they were eight points to get prepare. I put there. So more marks to get there, six points. But it is nine marks to get there. So eight points. So now, but it is. At that time. So a more lesson in the no three marks you can get both or four marks you can get both. So four marks you wish to taro adre. So three marks only. You four marks in the eight points no ot kundro no three marks you get adre bari both. Four marks you get adre no bari both. I think uh, no doubt and put in. So next show it is about geography map. Okay, so this is a map. Okay, you will be having when you will be having five marks. Okay, so geography map. Okay, so one plus four five marks. One plus four five marks is for map. So one mark go. It is for drawing a India map outline map and a draw model there. वन द मार्क सिगरेट ने मिले मतलब ने मिले याव लेसन इन द मैप क्वेश्चन है ना केल तरह अंदर ने मिले डाउट इड बोल सो मैप क्वेश्चन याव लेसन इन द यूजुअली ज्योग्राफी फर्स्ट लेसन इन द मैप क्वेश्चन है ना केल तरह देन ज्योग्राफी सेकंड लेसन इन द मैप क्वेश्चन हो देन फिजिकल फीचर्स बगे then ज्योग्राफी सिक्स्थ Especially the multi-purpose river valley projects. All lesson in the name again map question in a kelter. Then <coughs> transport and communication. Ninth lesson in the name again map question in the bit to the mineral and power resources. So mineral and power resources. Eighth lesson. So other in the name again just the map questions in a kelter. So you may be asked questions like a uh, what we should go through all the places and all. No. So, 
the places which are marked in the map and the place which has explanation in the paragraph artha aagtidya so yava place map alli mark madidaro then a mark madiro antaha place a paragraph nalli explanation alli idre anta places anna en maartare so map marking alli keltare artha aagtidya so iga example eastern ghats western ghats anta kelbodu artha aagtidya so eastern ghats western ghats adanna mark madidare adu namage paragraph nallonu ide iga dig boy adu mark madidare adu namage ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮುಂಬೈ ಪೆಟ್ರೋಲಿಯಂ ಡಿಸ್ಕವರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಅಂತ ನಮಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆ ತರ ಸೊ ಯಾವ್ದು ನಮಗೆ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಗ್ರಾಫ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಅದರ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನೇಷನ್ ಇದ್ದು ಸೊ ಮ್ಯಾಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೋ ಸೊ ಅಂತದನ್ನ ಮ್ಯಾಪ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಗೆ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಜಾಗ್ರಫಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ಇಂದ ವಿ ನೋ ದ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಏಟಿ ಟು ಅಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ north latitude or it is called tropic of cancer okay so then first lesson in the 82 and a half degree east longitude or it is called indian standard time okay indian standard time indian standard time okay and then from this lesson indira coal so it is called northern tip of india okay and then delhi the capital city and ಕನ್ಯಾಕುಮಾರಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಸದ್ರನ್ ಟಿಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಡ್ರಾಯ್ ಕನ್ಯಾಕುಮಾರಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಪ್ ಸೊ ಕಂಪಲ್ಸರಿ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಮೆನ್ಶನ್ ದ ಅಂಡಮಾನ್ ನಿಕೋಬಾರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಲಕ್ಷದ್ವೀಪ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ಇಂದಿರಾ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಂದಿರಾ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ that are come I and mean, comes from the geography first lesson so 23 and a half degree north latitude it is also called as tropic of cancer then 82 and a half degree east longitude or it may be indian standard time and indira call delhi kanyakumari then indira point okay so coming to second lesson geography second lesson which are all the places means himalayas okay so himalayas you are in the melgade in the ikade east tankanu ಡ್ರಾ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ನಾರ್ದರ್ನ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಸೊ ಮೇನ್ ಆಗಿ ಸೊ ಈಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಘಾಟ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಘಾಟ್ಸ್ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಘಾಟ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಕೋಸ್ಟ್ Western coast. Okay. So, these are all the map questions. Eastern Ghats, Western Ghats, Eastern coast, Western coast. Then, Mausin Ram. Okay. So, usually, so when you draw a map, okay. so eastern ghats okay so the eastern ghats usually now we want to make the border is yellow we should draw inside that border okay so ghats so especially ghats idana mark madbekare so we know that the western ghats are continuous okay so western ghats are continuous dark line shade madbeku okay so illinda illi tanka it is western ghats okay so eastern ghats they are not continuous so continuous and then we need to break we should break it here okay so they are not continuous okay and eastern coast and western coast okay 
So eastern coast and western coast and the Kerala coast means what land nearer to the sea. अतः इतः समुद्र के हत्तरवागिरों तथा प्रदेशां तथा. So we have to mark it on this border line. So इलिन ना mark mark कोम बरवे. So border line में ले we should mark. So वड़ाग mark mark दर है अदो गार्ड्स के होटल बुड़ते. So eastern गार्ड्स, western गार्ड्स, eastern coast, western coast इन तब बंदागा. सो बार मेल ऐनु ना डार्क शेड मे सो अब वेस्टर्न कॉस्ट ओके सो इले को दिस मलबार कॉस्ट दोरमंडल कॉस्ट दर्दर्न सर्कार इू अस्ट बट इन सो कंटिन्स हंगेर कॉस्ट सो इले डार्क ओके सो ईस्टर्न कॉस्ट वेस्टर्न कॉस्ट अंड मोसिन आस्टल बर ओके सो इत से लेसन जैस्ति मैपन कहोदे सो दिट्रे सो नि वाटर रिसोर्स मलटीपर्पल व्यली प्रोजेक्ट बे सो इ हाविंग मैप ओके सो अद्र मेन ऐन कहतर सो कॉसि भाक्रांगल हिराकुडर कृष्णा तुंगभद्रा Nagarjuna, then rivers. Okay, so these are all the important multi-purpose river valley projects that can be asked for map questions. Kosi, Baka, Nangal, Hirakud, Upper Krishna, Tungabhadra, Nagarjuna, then rivers. Okay, so rivers and the kind of thing. So it are ups and downs. Very much. Mountains and the kind of thing. इतर बरी ओके सो रिवर्स देन दिस मार्क फॉर मौंटन ओके आलवेज यूज पेनल फॉर मार्किंग द मैप ओके सो देन प्लेस कॉट्सोके सो शुड पुट वन डॉट दिस इज फॉर प्लेस ओके Then it are projects कलना केल दागा, so I have to use the symbol like this for projects, multi-purpose river valley projects. Okay, so I have to use the symbol like this. And uh, ninth lesson in the bandaga, so ports, so eastern ports, then western ports. सो पोर्ट वेस्टर्न मत ईस्टर्न सैड बंदा सो पोर्ट बंदर अंत को पोर्ट सो इंद शुरु पोर्ट हांडा नेक्स्ट मुंबई इन अस्ट दिस पोर्ट वेन दस पोर्ट सो आलवे मार्क आन दिस बार ओके सो इंदू बार कड़े सो पोर्ट अलग साध्य हम दैंड आलो दोर्ट विल नाट बी देर सो ओन इट इस नियर टू दी अस्ट अर्थ आयता सो मुंबई दिन गोवा सारी नावा शिव Then Marma Goa, okay. Then Mumbai. 
ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಸೊ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ್ದ್ಯಾವ್ದ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಕಾಂಡ್ಲ ಮುಂಬೈ ನವಶಿವ ಮಾರ್ಮಗೋವಾ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಕೊಚ್ಚಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ಯೂಟಿಕಾನ್ ದೆನ್ ಚೆನ್ನೈ ದೆನ್ ಎನ್ನೂರ್ ವಿಶಾಖಪಟ್ಟಣ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಪರಾದೀಪ್ ಹಾಲ್ಡಿಯಾ ದೆನ್ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬೆಂಗಾಲ್ ಸೊ ಇವಿಷ್ಟು ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಗಳಿಗೆ ಕೇಳೋ ಅಂತಹ ಮ್ಯಾಪ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೈನ್ತ್ ಏಟ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಮೇ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಏರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಏರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿರಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ಸೊ ಇದಿಷ್ಟು ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಜಾಗ್ರಫಿ ಇಂದ ನಿಮಗೆ ಫೋರ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಪ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಯಾವ್ದ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇರೋದು ಸೊ ಡೈಲಿ ಯು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ at least 10 10 places means you can cover all the places okay so means you have taro agbodu ella place igu anta so ivishtu ivattina ee four marks matte ee geography map bage iddidantaha discussion sir 